I'll be honest, viewers, I'm not really a fan of barbecue sauce. I'm more of a fan of A1 sauce for my meat. I'm Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Edna? Hmm? Hey, how's it going? Why is Laharl so stubborn? Because he's a demon? Huh? You kidding? <laughs> he's always been like that. Since the start of the that's game. That's entirely true. Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. Well, apparently you got him wrong. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. Oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Maybe you should give him a spanking. Yes. That's a demon for you. Pretty much. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? Well, none of the angels would hit on me. What do you gotta do? You think so? Uh... Well, the princess case is a bit unique. What do you mean by that? Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. When you're rich, you're not crazy. You're eccentric. She was always talking about love and kindness. That's not weird at all. <laughs> well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. Oh. A human? Yep, she was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually the prince was born. So, she came here to study witchcraft. Hmm. Is that so? She was always saying things like, demons can love too. You came to hell to find demon love. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Doesn't exactly sound like the best Maybe plan. Maybe remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? Maybe he has an Oedipus complex. The queen died. Or that. Huh? You, uh, don't really know how to a drop the bombshell, do you? The prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. Oh yeah, the king? He died! Two years ago. <laughs> there was only one way to save him. Which was... Crying on him. The life of one who loved him. Eh, close enough. Then... That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. That's... It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad! So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Pretty much. Oh, that's just not fair! He didn't live the first half of his life without love, or Maybe with love. so. But I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Unless you have a wizard. Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started here. This battle is a little tricky here. We got all these geo panels over here with, uh, yeah, really bad stuff. Attacks plus one basically lets you attack twice in a round. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn off the enemy effects because these two are going to be casting buffs over and over and over again and it's going to take forever. So, <laughs> sorry viewers. Okay, so, uh, game? Ah, there we go. Okay, so, first things first. Let's see, let's have you, actually, can you kill that one guy? Can you get in range? Yes, you can! Well. No, no, let's let's not do that. I don't want them to gang up on him. First things first, let's bring out Lahara. And throw him this way. Let's use our new Winged Slayer. It's a 3x3 three three ability. Let's see, let's use it right there to hit all these guys. We want to get rid of the enemy boost times 3 and the attacks plus 1 geo symbols there. Yeah, don't worry if you uh, can't kill all these guys right now. Like, if you don't have 
Wing Slayer or not, it's not that big of a deal. It would be nice, but if, like, you're not going after all those arms masters like I did, you probably don't have them yet. Don't worry, none of those guys have any uh, AoEs or, or anything like that that you need to worry about. Okay, got that. Let's finish him off there. I like trying to use star magic whenever uh, I can. Just because there's not a whole lot of opportunities to do so early on. Okay, this guy... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put you right there and defend. Okay, that ought to be a good start. Hopefully, they'll all gang up on my ninja. Yeah, they're going to be casting like really big AoE Bravehearts. Uh, Braveheart, by the way, boosts your attack by 20%, but that slowly degrades over time, like per round. So, just something to keep in mind there. So basically, all those brave hearts that they cast, they're gonna wear off by the time I actually get over there anyway. So I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. Okay, now Laharl, let's uh, back up there and do another Winged Slayer. Fortunately, a lot of those guys stayed in range. Here I come. Yeah, Winged Slayer is really nice. Hits a group of three by three enemies really good for uh, level grinding later on. Uh, oh, whoops. How's your, uh, mm, you got a lot of resistance there. Well, I do want to get up to level 30 for my ranger, so let's start with that. See, so you should be able to kill him the old-fashioned way. Or not. Never mind. Okay, let's move you a little closer and pass the turn. One other thing to consider. Oh. What was I thinking about? I lost my train of thought. That's... How are you doing on Ma there? Have you gotten? Good. Got yours. And you got yours. Good. Okay, so now I don't need to worry about the main three. I just need to uh, get rid of these guys. Hmm. Well, Flan, you know what? Let's send you in the back there. You've got a lot of range anyway. Throw the attack minus 50% Geo symbol over there. Hmm, I am a little worried about your HP though. Maybe I'll uh, send you back. Yeah. Okay. Fall back! Are you weak to something? Good. I was gonna say, not wind? always very helpful. Of course, I don't really need to use those elemental strikes. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was thinking about. Uh, well, we only have these guys with their spears now, but uh, before we were dealing with a lot of those guys who had uh, sword abilities and namely blade rush. So that's something you want to uh, watch out for. So don't line your characters up in a row, otherwise they'll blade rush you. Right now, that's not such a big deal. Uh-oh. Please don't kill him. Thank you. Um, you know what? You need to kill. So, let's kill that guy first. And you can back up there. How are you doing on levels? Probably need to kill two or three more enemies, I think, that ought to do. But let's, uh... Soften this guy up first. Uh oh, don't kill him. <sighs> I'm always overkilling these guys. Oh well. It's my lot in life. Now one thing you gonna want to watch out for with these guys, uh, obviously they're all archers, or, well okay, they're battlers, but they have bows, and they have a range of three. So you want to try and stay out of their range there. Let's see, can, I, can my star spell hit them that far? No, it cannot. So, how about this? You throw 
Hello, Flan over there. Flan a little close up. Okay. That ought to be close enough. Ha! Let's do that. Just soften. I said soften them up! Never mind. Well, I'm gonna have my uh, ranger take out uh, most of these guys. Uh, oh, well, there's only one guy to pick out. Marin? How'd you get in this game? Man, a lot of characters are escaping from my other LPs. How'd they get here? Okay, now, yeah, my uh, ranger could use some healing. Go, go, power ranger. Let's see. Okay, that ought to do. Or not. Well, I am out of their range, and for some reason, these guys will never move, because I guess their AI is scripted to make them sit on their ass or something. Okay, well, now we can uh, get more in range there. Oh. Oh, right! The, uh... Oh, okay, that worked. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind, but it will do. I forgot about the uh, attack minus 50% effect on there. Can you just... Can you please just soften... Oh. Yeah, we can do that. Can you please just soften him up? Or her up? Oh, I think that is a female now that I think about it. Man! With all this overkill. I suppose when you need it and don't have it, sing a different tune. But not today. Okay, so first things first, I want to save here. We've got a lot of preparations to make before uh, moving on here. This is about the part of the game where the enemy levels really start picking up. So, and the problem is that it's kind of hard to level grind with uh, pr promotion exams now. Once you get past the sixth exam, they start getting really hard. So, first things first, we want to transmigrate. We got our ranger here up to level 30, which unlocked the Strider job class. Strider here, you? No. No, just an ordinary Strider. You want to transmigrate him with skilled capability and dump everything into hits there. So that's what I'm going to do with him. Now with the main three, if you have 1100 mana for them, you can transmigrate them. That costs 100 plus 1000 mana for distinguished capability. Dump everything into attack for Laharl there. Ooh, you do the same thing for Etna. With Flan, you want to dump everything into intelligence for her. So transmigrate them, then you want to retake the six promotion exams for them. So that'll bring them up to, I think, about level 22, if I'm not mistaken. But that's still not quite up to speed. I want to get everyone up to, like, level 32 or so. I think that'll put us in pretty good shape through the rest of the chapter. So, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, how do you level grind from here if you're not going to use uh, level 5-3 in order to level grind? Well, i got another place that I really like using, and that is 6-4. That's the battle where you had that scripted battle with all those level 75 demons. But now that it's not a storyline battle, there's just one level 40 in and that this is actually a pretty good place to level grind now because this guy is well beyond your own levels and there's only one of him. So you can move through the battle pretty quickly. So uh, let's actually turn off the spell effects there. Let's see, I think a Colossal Fissure might kill him accidentally. So let's just do that. Okay, now we've whittled him down the size. So let's. Oh. No. Aim. Let's move you over there. And a good tiger charge out of finish. And that's how you level grind here. Took me less than a minute, and you'll probably gain a level after killing one or two of those guys. So it's really quick and easy, gives you a lot of precision. I like that better than 5 3 myself because it doesn't take 15 minutes to set up and you don't have to pass any bills in order to make it work better. 
So, and it gives me a lot more precise control. I'm not gaining like 30 levels at once. I can do like one or two levels at a time, get everyone up to the exact level that I want to do. So I want to get everyone up to level 32 there after transmigrating, including the uh, Bushi and Elite Ninja, but I don't want them to transmigrate just yet. Only the other, only the first four there first. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with those guys to make some preparations there. But why have all the printies run away? What is Big Sis Printies role in all this? Will the Harl let the printies go? Or will he enslave them yet again? All shall be revealed next time on the Chapter 8 finale of Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!